We all know something or the else about heart attack. Nobody knows what sudden cardiac arrest is all about. We need to understand that heart attack does not kill people. 95 to 99 percent of patients they survive after heart attack, but not even one percent patients they survive if they have sudden cardiac arrest. Now, why is that we don't know about sudden cardiac arrest? It, it is because the awareness about sudden cardiac arrest is lacking worldwide. In sudden cardiac arrest, the heart goes to a sudden standstill. It is sudden, it comes without a warning, it is cardiac, it is related to heart and it is an arrest that means the heart has had a death. The signs and symptoms of sudden cardiac arrest, if I have to say in very simple words, the first sign may be sudden collapse or loss of consciousness. Now there are some subgroup of patients who may have preliminary symptoms in form of palpitations that means heartbeat going fast, thumping in the chest, some giddiness, some lightheadedness, weakness, lethargy or getting out of breath. Suppose sudden cardiac arrest occurs in your vicinity, somebody just falls in front of you and is not breathing or not uh, moving at all. What do you do? We most of us do not know what to do at those situation. Now you have to understand that sudden cardiac arrest gives you initial 5 to 6 minutes. If you act in these 5 to 6 minutes in the right way, you can save something what is known as life. How do you save this life? It is by aware, knowing a simple maneuver known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. In fact, it is short formed as CPR. The CPR maneuver is actually a simple maneuver, but most of us do not practice it in real life even if we know about it because we are scared. We think that we are going to harm that person more than benefit that person. However, I want to insist on a point here that any kind of CPR is better than no CPR. If you do not start the CPR within first 5 to 6 minutes of a person collapsing in your vicinity, you are actually letting that person die. And if you start some kind of a CPR, even if it is not the correct method, then you are you give some chance to that person to survive and you have some chance to save a life. However, knowing a right CPR is actually very, very good. I will just demonstrate the right procedure of how to do a CPR and uh, give you a life demonstration. If somebody collapses in front of you, like this person he has collapsed, what do we do? The first and foremost you have to do is, you have to look for help in the vicinity. If you do not find anybody, give a call to a number 102 for ambulance so that you are able to have a help as soon as possible while you are helping the individual who has collapsed in front of you. First of all, you are going to see uh, what is happening to that individual. You just inspect, you see for respiration whether that person is breathing or not. Then you call out that person, are you okay? There is no response. Then you go on to inspect the pulse of the person. How do you inspect the pulses? You have to see between the ear and the, and the angle of the jaw, put your two fingers here to palpate the pulse. You can go up to the nape of the neck to see and palpate the pulse. You can't find any pulse, then what do you do? Immediately just palpate the center of the chest and the lower angle of the bone, the center bone which is known as the sternum, you put the palm on the center of the chest. Once your hand is resting here, the other hand, the fingers of the other hand will lock this first hand and you will start with the compression keeping your arms straight. The arms have to be absolutely straight and the compression has to start. Uh, from here, the compression has to be effective compression, which means you have to compress the chest so that it moves either 2 inches or up to 5 centimeters. It has to be going on in your mind to do 100 compressions in a minute. Now some people think that we have to give mouth to mouth resuscitation to save the person. However, our latest guidelines do not warrant mouth to mouth respiration. The guidelines have changed to give only chest compressions which are 100 compressions in one minute. How we give it? I am just going to show you that. You have located the center of the chest, put your palm 
the palm of the hand is put on the center of the chest at the lower chest the other hand fingers they lock into this hand your arms are absolutely straight and you start the chest compression and you give 100 compressions in a minute they have to be effective compressions which i told you that 2 cm movement of the chest should be there or up to 5 to 6 inches of the movement of the chest has to be there to call it an effective compression you continue these compressions till you can till you get uh, till you are not tired or till the help arrives since you have called the ambulance number the paramedical or anybody in the vicinity would come to your help and you continue the compressions as long as you have strength and as long as the person who can help you out comes then you exchange hands otherwise as long as possible your strength is maintained in your arms you have to continue the compression after you have done about 100 compressions and you have finished that you check for the vital statistics of the patient again which means that you have to look at the patient again whether that person is breathing or if the pulse is back or not you palpate again at the nape of the neck and to see if the pulse is there if you do not see any breathing you do not feel any pulse continue the compressions yet again so you have just learned the correct technique of CPR please do not inhibit from trying to do the CPR if there is some kind of a uh, emergency in your vicinity or you see somebody falling in your vicinity do the CPR start the CPR with confidence because you are going to save a life the inhibitions like giving mouth to mouth resuscitation or compressing the chest too hard or damaging the patient more than uh, benefiting them please understand any kind of CPR never damages never extends the damage uh, more than what already has been done so you will be anyway saving life start the CPR and save life thank you